Tenerife is one of the most popular tourist destinations for Brits abroad and with impeccable weather you can see why. But what I didn't know was just how incredible their local cuisine was. I was expecting American style diners, British pubs and bad Italian restaurants like a lot of other places. But this island absolutely blew me away. By the end of this video you'll be booking your flights. This will show you all the best spots to hit when you're in Tenerife. Alright everyone, we are on the blazingly hot island of Tenerife. Uh, we're staying in Los Cristianos. Uh, which is right by Costa Radecki, which is a very popular tourist destination. And we are here for a few days. We've got the little one as well. We're going to try and find some really nice traditional Canary Island food. And hopefully you enjoy my daughter's calling me this Tenerife, South Tenerife guide. Ohono di Neptuno is a tapas restaurant located right on the seafront in Costa Radecki. We started with some papas arrugadas, which are the local potatoes boiled in incredibly salty water until it evaporates and you're left with a salty crust, served with red and green mojo sauces. We're going to try one of these canary potatoes. They do potatoes differently here in the Canary Islands. They boil like a little baby potato, like a little new potato, in loads and loads of really salty water let that salt just evaporate and it's, it forms this crispy salty crust around it and then they give you two sauces one is a mojo verde which is this one it's like a coriander style salsa maybe a few chilies in oh my god those potatoes are amazing really good and then there's the mojo rojo, which is mm, like a hot salsa. Both are fantastic. And those potatoes are so, so good. Native to the island of Tenerife. Calada. Mmm. It's so bit gum. We also got these mini chorizos cooked in cider. Mmm. That. Mmm. That chorizo is so, so good. These are their croquettes, filled with creamy chicken and potato. Mmm. Nice and moist inside that croquette. Sometimes you can get dry croquettes, this is not one of those times. Lovely soft pulled chicken with that soft, soft potato. What's not to love? No meal in Spain is complete without a plate of Iberico ham. Right, let's see what the Iberico ham is saying. Get one of these little breadstick things, roll it up. Iberico ham is one of those, one of those things that when you come to Spain, it's just a highlight. Oh, sorry, sorry, there's nothing on it. Mm, 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 mm. I've never had a bad slice of Iberico ham in my entire life. I don't think I ever will. This is their black pudding with red peppers. At the weekend, I had to make my own black pudding because Johnny had gone away and Johnny had been making my black pudding for me. It wasn't as good. This pisses on both of our chips. <laughs> and just look at this beef stew fall apart. Mmm. That stew is divine. The beef just falls apart. Oh. You only get like the perfect pie filling. And you're like buzzing. That's what this is. We were right by the sea, so I had to sample the seafood. These were the garlic and chilli prawns. Oh, it's hot. Mm. That is one fucking good prawn. We also got the pork loin with peppercorn sauce. peppercorn sauce. I don't care what you say about peppercorn sauce. I fucking love it. And the pork's really soft. 
this place is class. It's uh, sort of in the middle of a shopping mall and this tapas is quality. There are 40 different tapas on the menu as well. We've only had eight of them and they're all 7 euro 50 each. Amazingly, we were still hungry after all that so ordered a little bit more food. These are the beef and cheese quesadillas. This is some sort of Canary Island hot sauce. Put a load of that on. That hot sauce. Oh my god, it injected that into my fucking veins. Tangy. Not too spicy. Mm. Beef case today is amazing by the way. Nice and smoky. And finally, their chicken toast. It's like a Chinese curry store. A full one for you. <laughs> yeah, <it's> probably, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so nice. It's so good. My boon? Oh my god, it's got worse. Has it? It's got worse. Is it red? Oh, it does hurt. Yeah. Muscle tough. <laughs> How nice is that? That is an unbelievably nice liqueur. The Canary Islands are doing a lot of things right. A lot of things right. So all of that, all of that, is only 98. Second day here in Tenerife. Um, we've been at Siam Park all day. A pint was two euros fifty. Say no more. El Horno Neptuno. Get it on your list if you come into the south of Tenerife. Because that was sensational. Second day here in Tenerife. Um, we've been at Siam Park all day. But we've been on all the slides with the little one. Uh, highly recommend that by the way. Now we are in a decade. Uh, which is not Costa a decade, a decade which is like you have to go up into the into the hills a little bit. There's a dish here that they're famous for called a decade chicken. Let's go. La Rambla is one of many places that serve traditional a decade chicken on the main street. We started out with their tomato and garlic bread. Got some tomato garlic bread to start here. Really fresh tomato. Really crispy bread. Rubbed all over in garlic. Olive oil. Some oregano on there as well. All the good stuff. Bang in. I also want to try some of the fried rabbit. As well as more of those salty canary and potatoes. It tastes like turkey. I don't know what part's best to eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Just tastes like a little bit of a gamey sort of chicken. I didn't realise rabbit was white meat. I thought it was like a darker meat. I was wrong. As I so often am about everything. These little potatoes with the mohos. Mm -hmm. And the red. Oh wow. In last night's restaurant, I preferred their uh, green one, Verde. In tonight's, I prefer the red. Mm -hmm. Now for the main event, the Adeke chicken. It's fried until crispy and then glazed in their special sauce. Mm. The sauce. Mm. I think it is the best chicken I've ever had. Oh my god. 
That fried chicken is absolutely unbelievable. Can I have one? Whoa. Juicy. Mm. I need to know how they've done this. That glaze. Oh. It's incredible. That is a unique piece of fried chicken. It's crispy as fuck. The chicken's really tender and moist. And then you've got the outside, the glaze. I can't even. It is so, so good. Look at that. Right. Mm. I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but there's, there's chili, there's definitely garlic. Loads of paprika, I think. Loads of other different spices. There's like something like a bit acidy about it as well, like a vinegary maybe. A bit of smoke to it as well. There's some citrus in there, some lime maybe in there as well. I didn't even know it was a thing. So someone messaged me about it on Instagram saying, make sure you get to a decay, which is not in Costa a decay, the actual village of a decay. Make sure you get there and have some of their fried chicken because it's the best. Fucking, I thought they were full of shit. It genuinely is up there with some of the best chicken on the bone that I've ever had in my life. Sarah got the caramel cake too. It was so spongy it wobbled. Creme. Oh my god, it's like a sponge soaked, soaked in caramel. She's, I, bet, I bet she's dripping. He gave us two spoons, but you won't be needing your spoon. Um. <laughs> the stuff that they do from the island, all the Canarian stuff, the mojos, the potatoes, the rabbit, the chicken. that chicken, that chicken. There's a fucking thriving food scene here in Tenerife. And I'm here for it. This is day three of Tenerife and we are in a steak restaurant called Char. It is uh, Tyson Fury's favorite steak restaurant on the island, um, so I'm told. And it is a little bit more expensive than we would usually do. But if it's good enough for the Gypsy King, it's good enough for me. Char is no ordinary steak restaurant. The beef they serve is all dry aged and they only serve the very best quality meat. That's reflected in the price. So if you don't want to spend a lot, you can skip this one. We started out with the Wagyu, which is cured for seven months. The fat marbling on this meat was just like something from a dream. Sliced incredibly thin and served with crystal bread. This was 45 euros. I meant it when I said it was expensive. Look at the fat marbling in that. Here we go. I have to caveat that this is not cheap. I feel like I deserve a little bit of a treat today. So I'm treating myself, treating the family. And I can't begin to tell you. It kind of melts on your tongue. Do you remember them? Um, I think they were Listerine, like Listerine tabs that you put on your tongue and they just dissolve and make your mouth taste dead minty. This is like that, but makes your mouth just smell of meat. These are Canterbury and anchovies with tomato on bread. Anchovy, tomato, crystal bread with some white sauce, which I don't know, I've forgotten what that is. Let's give it a go. Fresh. It's like 25 quid. Mm. I love little anchovies. And I love that Morrison's Deli counter seldom in a little tub. These are not Morrison's Deli counter little tub. These are much better. <laughs> we came for the steak, so we got it. Prime Galician ribeye on the bone. Dry aged and the smell was insane.
of my fucking. When I say stuff like this, you do have to believe me. An insanely good steak. Whoa! This is the sauce that she recommended. Let's give it a bit of that. You know that sort of dry aged hum you get from the meat. Wow, that is an incredibly special steak. Oh, it's so soft. Despite being the most expensive meal I think I've had. Not ever, not ever, not ever. Certainly within the last couple of years. Felt like going all out today. Had a nice round of golf earlier. And Man United lost 4-3 last night. When we were up 3-2 in the 96th minute. I need something nice. And this is fucking nice. Is one of the best steaks ever. They also did these cute little shoestring fries, which were amazing. Got some of that red moho sauce as well. Mm -hmm. Arguably the best bit of the steak. Mm, look, all the char. It's quarter past three, and I am ready for bed. If you don't mind spending a bit of money for a little bit of a treat in Tenerife, get here and have the best time. There's no footage in between the food. We're just doing straight food because in between, it's just constant childcare. We are going to a, another traditional Canarian uh, restaurant uh, in Los Cristianos this time. El Venturio is a traditional Canarian guachinche located in the old town of Los Cristianos and I could not wait to get my laughing gear around more of their mojos. I love these mojos. I can't, I, I say it in every fucking restaurant we go to. Bit of this, bit of this bread and we're gonna dip it right into the green mojo. There's no sauce like it. All right, here we go, it's a bit of the bread, shall we? Rojo. Insanely good. This is grilled goat's cheese with a blackcurrant jam and a local salad with tomato and onions. Mm. Similar to halloumi, but no way near as salty. Blackcurrant, the blackcurrant jam. Wow. We also got the sausage platter with two different types of sausages and their Canarian black pudding. Try some of these sausages. Here's the orange one. That's the softest sausage in the world. Oh. Let's try this bad boy. It's a different one. Oh, look at him. That's so good. The black pudding. So it's, a re it's really, it's really sweet, this black pudding. If someone said to me, is this chocolate cake or is it black pudding? I'd say it's chocolate cake. Incredible. All of this meat is incredible. The morcilla. Morcilla is the black. Normally in Spain, do with rice, with uh, onion. But here in Spain, we do sweet. With honey, with almond, with very different. And the, many people, that when they eat, they say, what is this? But it's sweet, it's in, the, it's in this way. And the sardine, every morning coming, the sardine from, from the port. And... These are their sardines, and we covered them in fresh lemon piss. Mm. This is... Mm. Breath, breath, breath. As Brown said, came in this morning from the port down there. Absolutely 
outstanding. Bossman brought this over for us to try. No idea what it's called, so he can explain. How we prepare all cheese, we make a flour with the all cheese, garlic, oil, salt, and red pepper. All of that, we move and move about two hours. And after we have one cream, and in Canaries it's very popular, you have the toast and you have the cream because it's cheese. Mm. Try it, taste. It's the consistency of hummus. It looks like hummus. It doesn't taste anything like hummus. It tastes more like parmesan, but like a more aged parmesan. Ropa Vieco translates directly to old cloves and is essentially just all the offcuts of meat and fish in a stew with chickpeas. Mm. It's already hot here. But that is really, really, really warming. It's basically just leftovers in a stew with um, with chickpeas, fishy stuff. Give me some of that octopus. Oh wow! This is a proper traditional Canarian dish. Despite not looking all that, and despite not sounding like all that. It's probably one of my favourite dishes of the whole trip. We are also the only English people in this entire restaurant. And there are a lot of people in this restaurant. This is just people from Tenerife coming to eat their own cuisine. This is honey room. Very popular here and we, we do it here. You taste? Mine very traditional. For you, salute, chin chin. Cheers, my love. <laughs> El Venturilio. That is the restaurant that you need to go to if you are in Los Cristianos. Make sure you get that black pudding because that was, that was for me, it was my favorite, and also the octopus stew. Tenerife is knocking me for six here. Adios. Hola, day cuatro of Tenerife. We're heading to a place called La Cine. More food is coming your way. El Cien is a seafood restaurant hugely popular with the locals, so expect to queue for a while to get seated. They fucking bottled the mojos. Mm. I fucking love it here already. They're famous for their grilled octopus. I've never been a massive octopus guy, if I'm being honest. But this is really good. Soft. Not, not chewy. I'm an octopus convert, I think. Similar flavour to the chicken. It just tastes, it's like the chicken of the sea. We also got some fried chicken wings. So good. We had to get the sardines. Oh, host. It's so fresh here. These are their prawns in garlic butter. Juicy. Succulent. We wanted to try as much of the menu as possible, so we ordered another Canarian salad for health reasons and the big swordfish steak. Mm. If you like seafood, you're in for a treat if you come in. It's a special place, there's a reason there's a queue. It's all amazing. It tastes like, you know them like, Dirty bits of fried chicken you get in a kebab house. At the end of the night, when you're waiting for your pizza or your kebab, you're like, oh, I have a piece of chicken as well, mate. That's what this octopus tastes like. Fantastic. And of course, the papas arugadas. Canary and potatoes, red mojo, green mojo. Mm, I can recommend 
LC, fresh, fresh, fresh seafood. All of that food was only 76 euros, which is about 70 quid. Good shit. The little one fancies a pizza, so we are going to Oro di Napoli, which is apparently the best pizza in the south of Tenerife. Let's have a go, shall we? Oro di Napoli have a big reputation for being the best pizza place on the island. It's Neapolitan style and it smelled unbelievable. We went for the deep fried mozzarella to start and Luna got a standard margarita. And just look at the state of that cheese. That is proper, proper gear. Ridiculous. My arteries. <laughs> mm. For the pizzas, we opted for the sausage and broccoli and the mortadella, pistachio, and burrata. It's good though. Mm. Mm. That sausage with the fennel, pepper, all those Italian herbs. Didn't see any dips on the menu, but I wouldn't mind at least cross the gum. But a crust is only as good as the dip that you dip it in. Mortadella, pistachio cream, burrata. Oh, my arm. This place is on something fucking special. You know, you come to Tenerife, I didn't know what I was expecting. Thought it would just be naff restaurants. Their food is amazing. And even the Italian food. If you get to the right restaurant, this is the right restaurant. Adios and buenos días. On our last day, we came to El Cordero, which was on the way to the airport. It's in the middle of a banana plantation and is famous all across the island for their meat. We were the first people in there, but it quickly filled up with locals. And look at how beautiful the settings are here. We started with some bread, olives, and more mojos. Try one of these olives, shall we? Mmm, they are garlicky, garlicky olives. Nice and soft, moist. I am gonna miss this sauce on everything. The waiter recommended starting with some of their rice with various meats in it. Bossman said, get some of this rice, which comes with a load of different meats. I think there's pork in here, I think there's chicken in here. I think he mentioned rabbit as well. It's like a meat paella. I wish I knew what it was called. But he just said, you like rice? That's what I do, mate, yeah. Okay, I get you rice with lots of meat. We had to get more of that goat's cheese from the other night. I'm gonna put it out there. It's better. It's be it is, isn't it? It's better than halloumi. Canarian goats. There are goats outside here, and they're milking them for this cheese. Love it. Fresh as it comes. This is the grilled rabbit. Perfectly cooked over the coals. The only other time I've had rabbit is in Paphos, in Cyprus which is also really nice. That is good, good meat. Mm. That rabbit is so good. <laughs> I need another beer. They also do a braised goat meat with fries and considering there was a goat farm out back, I thought it'd be best to try it. Oh, it's style. Oh, that is soft. Oh my god, it is so soft. 
proper braised cook. It tastes just like lamb. <laughs> this goat might be my favourite so far, actually. Oh my god. And this is their flame grilled lamb over the coals. Oh my god. This place, if you're a meat lover, if you're a carnivore like me, they are doing incredible things over the fire and yep you guessed it the canary and potatoes my favorite little potatoes and moho mm, i'm gutted so this is the last meal i'm having here that's it for us if you've enjoyed this video please like it subscribe if you really liked it comment say hello I will see you next time. Adios.